Hey everyone, today we'll be talking about the group of plants that I study, ferns. Let's botanize. As we've said before, ferns are one of the five major lineages of land plants. And ferns are actually the second most species rich group of vascular plants with 11,000 species. They are globally distributed and occur in a variety of different ecosystems, from the wettest rainforests to the driest deserts. Ferns are very attractive to people because of their symmetrical geometry, which is demonstrated in their beautifully dissected leaves and in their unfurling fiddleheads. In the temperate region, we are familiar with ferns that have highly dissected leaves, and botanists have come up with some pretty fun terms to describe these. The whole leaf is called the frond. Each leaflet is called a pinna. Each smaller leaflet is called a pinnule, and if you have subsequently smaller and smaller leaflets, they're called the pinnuleules, and so on. However, not all fern leaves are highly dissected, like this hay-scented fern. Some ferns have simple leaves with entire margins, not dissimilar from this rhododendron. Often, the only part of the fern that you're able to see above ground is the leaf. However, under the soil is an entire stem and root system. Ferns do not produce flowers or fruits. Rather, they produce free dispersing spores that are produced in spore packets called sporangia. These are always produced on the undersides of the leaves. Sporangia are generally aggregated together in clusters called sori. The arrangement of the sori in different species is taxonomically informative. Ferns are a really interesting lineage, because based on the fossil record, we know that they originated over 375 million years ago. However, the majority of living species today evolved much more recently, only about 60 to 100 million years ago.